welcome back students. Um, this video is for the purpose of covering a problem that will help you out with the activity that you are going to participate in uh, within your group. So you're going to be solving a problem that is about finding the quadratic function um, with three points given. Now, this problem is part of your final exam, and I remember what I told you to do was to graph each of the functions and look at the table and see which table had the um, points that were given to us. So that was like a quick way to find the answer, and I believe this was the answer. So what if you don't have the options listed here? So what you need to do is take the points, so we have the point 1, 3, we have the point 2, 1, we have the point negative 2, negative 15. And so from here we know that this is the x, this is the y, this is the x, this is the y, this is the x, this is the y. Now the problems that you are going to be given, they don't give you the exact point. So you're going to have to read your problem and determine which one is the x and which one is the y. Uh, the x will always be the independent quantity, so you, you might have to ask yourself what depends on, which one depends on the other um, to figure out which is x and which is y. So now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the general form of the quadratic equation. So that is, and for the purpose of this lesson, I'm just going to write the y on the right side, you know, it doesn't matter, same thing. So we have a x squared plus bx plus c. And remember that a, b, and c are numbers, they're constants. And in fact, that's what we are going to be looking for, to, uh, for us to be able to find the equation like it is being asked here. So what I'm going to do is create, I'm going to be substituting the x values that you see here, this x and this x here. And so I'm going to substitute those x values with the numbers that you see here, with the x values, 1, 2, and negative 2. And what I'm going to do with the, with the y value, I'm going to substitute that one with the second number from each order pair because that is the y number, uh, the y value, sorry. Okay, so we're going to get started. So we're going to start with a. Instead of x, we're going to use number 1 and then square it. And then we have b. Instead of x, we're going to use number 1 and then plus c. From here, we need the y value, and the y value is positive 3. Second equation, I'm going to say a times the x value, which in this case is a 2. And let's not forget to square it. Remember, you're only squaring the first one, the one that goes with a. And then we have b times x. Instead of x, we're going to use the number 2. And then plus c. From here, the y value is a 1. So we write that down here. For the third um, equation, we're going to use a, the coefficient of the squared term. And now for the x, we're going to use negative 2. Uh, let's not forget to square it. Then we have plus b times negative 2, and then plus c. And it, it is equal to the y value, which in this case is negative 15. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simplify the system a little bit. Um, and then we're going to use a matrix to solve the problem. So working with this first equation first, we know that 1 squared is still equal to 1. So it's like we have 1a, and then we have plus 1 times b, so plus 1b, and then plus c. Um, just so you know, the coefficient of c is a 1. I know that you might still be on vacation mode, so don't forget the coefficient of the 1. You don't need to write it. But when you type in your matrix, you do need to make sure that it is there. Um, for the second equation that we have here, the one that came from the second point, uh, we need to square this quantity. So 2 squared is 4. So in this case, we will have 4a. 
plus 2b plus c and that is equal to 1. Now finally we have the third equation and so that will be negative 2 squares positive 4 so 4a minus remember here we have b times negative 2 so that will be minus 2b and then plus c and that is equal to negative 15. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a matrix, an augmented matrix. And remember we call it augmented because we need to add an extra column uh, to enter the constant terms. Remember, so you see here. So we're gonna we're going to have the first row will be one, 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 and then three. The next row will be four, two, one, and one. And the third row would be 4, negative 2, 1, and negative 15. Now, what I'm going to do is enter this matrix into the calculator. And so I'm going to use the row reduce echelon form. And so what we're going to do is, uh, what the calculator is going to give me is we're going to have identity on the left side. And on the right side, we're going to have three numbers. And those three numbers are going to account for the constant that will be, that will represent A, B, and C. Uh, once we obtain those, we'll be able to have our quadratic function. So, So please feel free to grab a calculator. And so we're going to do where um, we're going to enter the matrix in case you forgot your own home screen. You go to calculate. And make sure you press time. Yeah, it's recording. Oh. So you can go to menu and number seven or the matrix menu and we need number five which is reduced row echelon form and it is important that you enter your matrix inside the parentheses that are already open for you there i know that some of you like to spell the r r e f um, but it is important that you still open parentheses and that the matrix goes inside that inside the parentheses now i don't have i need a matrix that has three rows and four columns I don't have one of those, so I'm going to select the three by three, and then I'm going to change the number of columns to four. So three rows, four columns. And then I'm going to enter my matrix. So I have one, 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 three, four. Two, one, and one. And then we have four, negative two. Make sure you use the negative that is below number three um, and not the minus sign. And then So I'm just going to check, yes, all my numbers are correct, press enter. And so we have identity on the left side, and now uh, here this number, negative 2, 4, and 1, are going to be my A, B, and C. Oh, I just forgot, negative 2, 4, 1. Okay, so negative 2 positive 4 and positive 1. And remember, we listed, uh, we constructed our augmented matrix in order um, A, B, and C. So once you have identity on the left, what this means is that 1A is equal to negative 2, 1B is equal to positive 4, and 1C is equal to positive 1. So now with those coefficients, I'm going to go up here and write down the quadratic equation. And so that equation will be negative 2 times x squared plus 4x 
um, plus one and that is equal to one. Or similarly, we could still, we could also, with the quadratic function, actually, we could also call it f of x is equal to negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 1. And if you notice, this was the correct, the correct answer. So this is the end of the video. For your problems, uh, you're going to be assigned a problem. Some of those problems, I mean, actually all of them will require you to find the quadratic function. Um, number five is probably the, the most challenging one. Maybe we could do that one in class. Um, but we will check our work next week. So this assignment, you're going to create a poster. I want you to tape or glue the problem uh, so you don't waste time writing it down. And then you're going to show all of your steps, of course, explain it. And I want a graphical representation of your problem. I think that will help you answer the question. Um, it could be a drawing or it could be a graph. Um, actually, let's just make the graph um, one of the requirements. You may use your calculator to look at the table, to look at the graphs. Uh, for some questions, you might have to use the quadratic formula. And those questions are the ones, for example, if they are giving you the y value and then want you to find the x value, you might have to use quadratic formula. Just remember that before you use quadratic formula or before you solve any quadratic equation, one side must be equal to what number? To zero. So before you use quadratic, e, um, you have to have one side of the equation equal to zero. So this is the end of the video.